Hi everyone, Jeannie here with Belly Beads, here today to bring you a tutorial on how to roll my 8mm teardrops. And here they go. And this is link T1566. What this means is, if you are purchasing any of my paper strips, there's a link that brings you right here to the tutorial on how to roll the paper strips. And I have to apologize for the noise behind me. We uh, are constantly cutting strips, so they're the machines going. I use a Cricut machine, and we have several, so they're in the background. I apologize. Um, I also sell the bottles here, and they're filled when you purchase them with Elmer's Clear Glue. I love this. You get three bottles for a dollar, and you get a funnel with it. Also, I want to mention a lot of uh, people have mentioned that sometimes the nozzle will get um, you know clogged up the best solution to that is always continue to have this rubber stopper on there that really eliminates any any clogging issues and of course if you're in the middle of uh, rolling beads you want to make sure to take this off it's a little bit more comfortable while rolling your beads so let's get started so for the beginner uh, you want to go ahead and condition your paper and what this means is just running your fingers through the paper. It allows the paper to be a little bit more durable when you're rolling, a little bit um, easier. And as you can see, while I'm rolling this, I mean, well, conditioning it, I might say, you'll see how it curls, all right? So that makes it for a little bit easier roll. I'm using a number one paper bead roller. If You, you can use anything that you have. This one is, uh, these are from Julie Bullock's, um Paper Bead Crafts, I believe it's called. I'll put the links below. And this is what I use for my teardrops. Now, for the beginner, I'm going to show you how to create this. And then I'm going to show the advance. You want to go ahead and place it in the slot, the widest angle, and roll. Roll to a point where you're comfortable. Don't roll too fast because what I want you to keep noticing is I'm going to bring this up to the camera look at the sides make sure they're always symmetrical make sure that they're always um, the same size now if I was I'm going to purposely do this to show you if I was to do something like that this side is wider than the other you don't want to do that you want to keep this piece of paper centered right in the middle there and just roll normally I wouldn't roll too slow too fast but the slower you are of course that's that's the best way towards the end you want to keep notice see how I want to keep that piece um, keep it centered I'm going to place some glue I'm very generous with my glue by the way because I like to prepare it for glazing and by running it through my fingers the entire bead allows for that to happen. now right now it looks like a little little egg but it isn't when you're taking this off, you want to push it off. Here comes the teardrop. Now you want to get one end, and you just want to push it all the way, like that. This is for the beginner, okay? I'm going to show the advance, but there you go. There's your little teardrop. Okay? Now, for the advance, paper bead roller. Drum roll, please. You want to go ahead and condition your paper and you want to get the smallest diameter of a pin that you have in your roller when you're rolling it I want you to be mindful of watch this side if you can see watch that side not this side while I'm rolling it you're going to notice that the other side is becoming a little bit more fuller this side is getting a little bit more pointier and you want to slowly do this because you can go off track but can you see the the drop already the teardrop already beginning and then the bottom here is becoming a little fuller now you're going to get these little flyaway papers you just want to push those out of the way as you come towards the end grab some glue and there you go. Now you can see the actual teardrop, I call them, actually taking place. You want to push that off. 
and there you go. There is a teardrop. You don't have to do any pushing or anything, but for the um, the beginner, you want to go ahead and do it the, the other way that I had showed you. All right, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. Um, it really helps uh, my channel and allows me to create more videos. All right, and I will put everything in the link below, uh, bellybeads.com. Go check it out. All right, and have a great day. Thank you.